Hello beautiful people, my name is Nick, aka the one only Crisis YT, and today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts and my opinions on microtransactions. Now there are two kinds of microtransactions, you have the pay to win model, and the pay to look good model, or the pay to customize your character model. And I have different opinions on both of these, and I also have different opinions as to whether it's a game you pay $60 for to play, or a free to play game. So first off, we're going to talk about pay to win. Now, you don't see a lot of games doing pay to win if you pay $60 for the game. However, there are some, Dead Space being one of them. On Dead Space, you can buy guns, you can buy better weapons, and things like that. And that is paying to win on top of the $60 you already played. So, for example, you're going to buy the game, and then you want to do better in the game, and you want to play it and have a lot of fun by just poning people. How you can do that is simply going and buying a $20 weapon pack. So, there you go. You've now spent $80 on this game, and, uh, you know, those weapons, in a lot of ways, are very hard to find in the game, or I don't even know if you can find them in the game. That is not good. I do not agree with that model whatsoever. If you pay $60 for a game, you do not need to be doing microtransactions. However, if Dead Space was free, like League of Legends is, League of Legends is going to be my example for a free-to-play game that uses microtransactions to help you play better. With, uh, League of Legends is a free to play game. You have to play nothing for you have to pay nothing to play League of Legends. You can go to their website, download it and play it for as long as you want. However, if you want to get better champions instead of waiting forever and, and getting the points in game, you can pay, you know, twenty bucks, get so many points in the game, and then buy yourself an amazing champion, which are the characters in League of Legends. And you know, soon you'll find yourself spending eighty, a hundred dollars on this game without, you know, paying to play it at all. And they've actually made more money than someone like Dead Space Three did, even though they had to pay to play, uh, pay to win model on top of their, you know, sixty dollar charge. How is that? Well, one, they cut out packaging. Okay, they don't have to pay packaging costs. They don't have to pay any of that. All they have to do is pay for a piece of plastic to go on a in a store like Walmart. You can buy League of Legends points right alongside of Microsoft points and things like that. They do have to pay for that, but what's that? You know, ten cents a card, and then they have um, all their development costs. But that's also with Dead Space. So in the end, League of Legends is going to come out much, much, much far ahead of a game like Dead Space because. There's no packaging involved. It's all online, and uh, they're going to make more money from their hardcore audience because their hardcore audience is willing to spend $200, $300 on these champions and, and points and upgrades and things like that where you could have got them either way, but the hardcore audience doesn't want to wait. They want them right now. The next kind of pay-to-play model is the pay-to-look-good. That's what I caught. I think there is more of an official name. But the pay-to-look-good model is the, kind of, is the kind of microtransactions that they use on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. For example, with the camo packs. You can pay 160 Microsoft points and get some pretty nice camos and some titles and some emblems. And um, for some people, it's worth it. For people like me, I'm like, hell no, that's not worth it. But it's up to you. The really, really hardcore fan base is probably going to latch onto that and they're going to love it. However, people who aren't really hardcore, and I wouldn't really really consider myself hardcore anymore aren't going to jump onto that idea and so it's not going to happen uh, for these other for the non-hardcore players now the reason I'm okay with this on top of the $60 game is this does not help you play better in the case of Dead Space you paid $60 for the game and then you had to pay another you know $20 to do extremely well in the game on Call of Duty it's not like that you pay $60 for the game and then you pay 160 Microsoft points and get you know an amazing camo or whatever that you really like and can wear all the time and it just makes you your gun look better and maybe gives you some rep with your friends but it doesn't necessarily make you do better in the game and that's what I agree with I agree with this kind of model it's sure it's going to bring in a lot more revenue and it's in a lot of ways some people say why didn't they just put those camos in it from the start but at the same time they had as many camos as they always have so you can't really expect anything new um, it is Call of Duty we're talking about here so I like the addition of the new camos um, it's also been proven that these camos aren't on the disc so it's not like they had all of these camos planned out from the start they're having to code these camos camos and put them in later on via downloadable content. They're not already on the disc like we've seen with games like Battlefield 3 and things like that. So, nevertheless, um, that's basically my thoughts on microtransactions. If it's pay to play, you know, I mean, if it's pay to win, I'm really not okay with it on a $60 game, on a game that I've already paid for. But if it's a free to play game, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with paying to win on a free-to-play game. These companies have to make money, and free-to-play companies especially have to make money in some way, and they have found an amazing way to do that with microtransactions, and I think it's worked out a ton. 
Um, when it comes to the pay-to-look-good model, I don't care if it is free-to-play or if it's paid game. I think it's okay because that is 100% on the user's choice. It's not going to affect the gameplay at all. It's just going to make stuff look good. doesn't matter if it's free-to-play or if it's... Um, or if it's not free to play, that's up to the user's choice. And if these are brought in later and they weren't originally on the disc, I think it's 100% okay. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about more specific DLC that isn't, you know, straight directly microtransactions. These, this is maps. This is DLC maps and things like that. Something that a lot of people who used to play Halo 2, I remember, freaked out when the DLC came out on a disc. Yes, the Halo 2 DLC came out on a disc. You could not buy it online. That is where the DLC motto originally started, and uh, I'm okay with it. I like bringing in new maps. I like giving the game variety. Most of the time, these maps aren't already on the disc, so that's okay with me. I'm perfectly fine with you bringing in your new maps, and uh, it's going to make my gaming experience more fun, and I'm going to have more fun uh, gaming on these new maps, and it's going to give this game longevity, all that awesome stuff. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. What are your thoughts on microtransactions and DLC in general? Tell me that in the comment section down below. If we could get 40 likes on this video, that would be amazing. Nevertheless, guys, I'm CrisisYT, and I'm out. Peace. And here are two incredible videos you guys may have missed, and they both actually throw it back to older Call of Duties. The video on the left is a live commentary on Modern Warfare 3 in which I have some fun, play some games, and pwn some noobs. Go check out that video if you like Modern Warfare 3 or just like my live commentaries. The same goes for the right, except it's on Black Ops 1 and it is a part of a blast in the fat blast from the fast what a blast from the past go check that video out if you're a black ops one fan or you again like my live commentaries nevertheless guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to answer today's question of today what are your thoughts on microtransactions i'm crisis yt and i'm glad this video is over because it's been like 30 takes i'm out peace